Oh, get up here. <laughs> oh, dear Jesus. This is not good. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to I'm an old guy gaming, and this is Alpha 19.1, where we play this game on insane difficulty. The slimes are all set to name speed, and we have a hell of a fun time doing it. Okay, so lots of stuff to get you updated on. Uh, if you have not been uh, following the uh, casual construction series, then we've made quite a bit of progress on, excuse me, on the um, build. But um, I'm pretty low on most of my mining resources, so I'm back down at our house, our normal house which is right here, uh, or I should say our original house, <laughs> um, and going to mine some stuff because we have a pretty good mine uh, going on here. So I'm basically going to get um, the four, you know, the four ores. So the nitrate, the coal, the lead, and the iron, uh, because, of course, like I said, we're going to need that. So um, the main goal for this episode, though, is we're going to, we're going to actually probably go to the desert and we're going to uh, be buzzard bait. And I'm going to try and get as many buzzards to chase me as possible because we need a whole bunch more spoiled meat in order to make the crop plots. I was only able to make about 41 or so crop plots. And I, I'm estimating I need somewhere around probably 225 or so uh, for the farm uh, that I'm working on. Um, so, yeah, we gotta do, we got to go get a bunch of that. And um, we'll just kind of go hang out in the desert um, during the latter part of this episode. Uh, so... What I'm going to do is uh, just start mining here, and I'll bring you guys back at some point once I'm probably done mining, just to show you, you know, how much that we, how much we've gotten, and then we'll go back up to the new um, base, which I've moved to too, by the way. Uh, so we're all moved up there now, um, and um, show you, you know, what we've done up there so far, and then after that we'll go buzzard hunting, and we'll probably stop and hit gut piles and all that sort of thing just to get as much rotten meat as we can. Okay, guys, I'll see you in a bit after we're done doing some mining. We're going to take a rock busters. And we're going to take a boiled meat to get our stamina up. We're going to take a coffee. And we're going to take a mineral water. And here we go. All right, guys, we are back. And... Um, this is what we ended up with. So I've got a little over a stack of coal, um, almost three stacks of iron, a little over a stack of a lead, two stacks in uh, 476 more nitrate, and then almost three full stacks of stone from that uh, little mining session. So we did pretty good. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head up to uh, the new base. we got a zombo up there that's been wanting to try and eat me. Uh, I'm gonna head up to the new base and uh, show you, you know, everything that we've done up there. And then we're gonna head to the desert. Our main objective for this episode is to find as much rotten meat as we possibly can in order to uh, make the crop plots that we're gonna need to make for the garden. Let's deal with the Zico here. Where are you at, dude? Okay, so we took care of him. There is nothing here at the house. Everything is moved up to the new house, so let's head on up. Oh, you know what? Well, let's check, too, and see if the traders uh, have reset. I think maybe they have. Uh, we need steel. We need a lot of steel, or preferably a crucible, but... Oh, uh, shit. I don't have any money with me. All right, well, let's just go... I usually keep the money in the bike, but when I did all my uh, moving, I... Didn't do that. Um, I, so let's just see if they're reset first. So re restock on day 34. So yeah, this isn't, I believe this is a new inventory. So what you got? Take 5% less damage from wearing a suit. Green AK. Uh, we already know Hunter's Volume 4. Ah, that's what we need right there. That's what we need right there because then we can make the 4x4. Four four. Okay, so we're going to have to come back down here. I've got a bunch of stuff to sell anyway. Uh, what day I is it, by the way? It's 32. Money okay. The moment I laid eyes on you. Just want to see what else he has really quick here. We're looking for steel in particular. 
He doesn't have any steel. Okay, that's fine. He's got the 4x4 accessories, and we definitely I have been looking for that. So Maybe what we'll do before we go to the desert is we'll we'll visit each one of the traders and, um, you know, get buy up whatever we can from them. Steel in particular, and what would be even better is a crucible. Incidentally, I have, um, I got two points. So we're gonna put those into uh, Fortitude 6. And now, if we wear the tough guy sunglasses, we have an effective uh, Fortitude 7. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get Machine Gunner up to four, to Special Forces. Uh, we gotta get Living Off the Land up to three. Um, and then we'll probably put some points into Pain Tolerance and to Healing Factor as well. So we're doing good. Oh, the other thing I wanna show you too is I am now, um, I'm at game stage 90. One more stage and we are at tier 3, I believe it is, which is the top tier. And we'll, then we'll start, you know, start seeing the best loot. Uh, so that is just right around the corner. Okay, I'll see you guys up at the new base. Alright guys, we are back at the base. And um, let me show you uh, what we've done. Uh, we've actually done quite a bit of work on this place uh, since the last uh, normal Let's Play episode. I've done, I don't know, two or three uh, building episodes. Uh, so let's uh, take a look and see what's going on down here first. I can manage to get it down here. Uh, so we basically have um, the ba the wall all done on the base, and I've got wooden spikes uh, all the way around. And I still have a, a few more concrete blocks to get upgraded. And then it's my plan to upgrade all these wooden spikes uh, also to iron. Um, which was one of the reasons uh, why we went and got so, a, a bunch of iron uh, when mining. I also have a little back door here that we can uh, pop out if we need to, you know, come out this way too. And uh, this area back here is going to be the garden. And uh, what? And you know, we're going to be going after um, what do we call it? Rotten meat uh, in this episode so that we can make the crop plots. But this is going to be a pretty decent sized garden. Uh, when it's finally built and then of course we got all the storage set up inside of the base everything is labeled everything's put away and um, we're doing pretty good so we got four forges each forge has a bellows and an anvil uh, this forge is for cement this one's for iron this one's going to be ultimately for steel I'm just feeding iron into it right now and this one's for ammunition um, so we're heating up the place pretty good we've got two cam benches we've got two uh, tool benches. Uh, we got a little kitchen area over here. Um, the refrigerator and the wall oven I ended up having to <clears throat> uh, bring in from the creative menu and then I just kind of took a guess as to how you know what the materials probably were and I, I showed all of that on camera for the uh, building series but I wanted to have you know a stove and a refrigerator in here and as far as I could tell there was no way for me to make these two things um, you know in the survival game. Uh, we were able to make the sink, so um, that that was done uh, in the survival game. But anyways, I did, um, you know, guesstimate what resources these two things would take, and we took those resources and basically threw them out um, to simulate applying them towards building these. And that's pretty much where we're at so far with the base. So we're making pretty good progress, pretty good progress. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, grab all the stuff that I have to sell to the trader, um, and let's see, we got, there's a few things I want to repair too. So, um, let's see, we're going to have to take a couple things down to the bike, I guess. So let's, here, hold on a sec. Let me look back in here again for a minute. Um, anything that does not need repairing, let's just take down to the bike now, uh, which is all of that stuff. And then we'll come back up. I, I made a bunch of extra repair kits. And we'll repair this stuff and then get it sold. So we don't need to repair that, 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 that. Oh, you know what, though? We should probably try and put a couple of mods on any armor. And maybe even on the spear, just to, um, you know, try and get a little bit more moolah for that stuff. Okay, let's put the money in here, too. Okay, we'll go back up. Hippity hoppity hippity hop. 
and let's now let's grab all of that okay so we got the whole kit and caboodle now um all right so we want to repair the most valuable stuff first so this is pretty valuable um what else this is going to be pretty valuable that's pretty valuable that is that is well you know what let's just repair all of it i think you know we've got enough stuff to do that okay i think that gets everything repaired uh you know that we're going to sell oh this needs to be repaired too okay now um let's take a look at see what mods we have uh we already have two bandoliers so we could put those on uh, the chest piece and do we have any pants or other chest piece we do not uh, okay, so we'll hang on to, to that for next time. We've got all of these pockets that we don't need anymore, so we might as well put those on stuff. Uh, anything that's an armor item should be able to take those. Okay, and then let's see, what else? Um, I don't have any guns that I'm going to sell, so we can't put gun mods on anything. I do already have a bunker buster, and we already have a shovel thingamadoodle. Uh, so those can go on a couple of things. Uh, let's put, actually, you know what? Let's put them on here. So we just bumped that price up to 1600 bank. All right, what else? We don't need any of these fittings because all the ones we have are the are the better ones so let's just add that to every piece of armor that we can uh, this here uh, this here and this there we go okay so we got all that stuff on uh, what else? What else do we have that's surplus that we don't really need? We could put this on the club. And we could probably put one of these on the club, too. Okay. Increase the price on that significantly. <coughs> Excuse me. Skullcap mods. Oh, we'll keep one of those, but we don't need both of them. I don't have any power tools to put that stuff on. Uh, I might want to keep two of those. Let's get rid of some more of these. We don't need that many of those guys. Alright, so let's see. This is the more valuable baseball bat. We almost doubled the price on that sucker. And clothing items, uh, helmets in particular. Okay, so this is 295 with the fittings. What is it with a skull cap? Same. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. Um, 927 with that. 927. So it's that's the same too. Uh, do we have anything else that can take these fittings? This can. Uh, in fact, that can take the pocket, too. Whoops. Okay, so that um, that helps quite a bit, you know, get our mods down. I don't really want... I don't think I want to get rid of anything else right at the moment. Uh, I'd get rid of one of these if I, if I was selling a rifle. Um, These aren't really worth selling. They're better. We're better off scrapping that. I could sell one AK, but we are going to need machine gun parts. How many do I have? Twenty-six. All right. What's uh? What does it currently cost for the M60? Only twelve. Yeah, I think we could probably afford to do that. So let's grab one of these yellow AKs. Modify that. It's currently three seventy-eight, and if we put uh, the tripod mod on it 
and um, I don't really want to put anything else on it that we currently have. That increases it to 605. Okay, I think that's probably the best we can do so far with the mods that I want, you know, that I'm willing to part with. Um, we'll hang on to the barbed wire mod for now. Not that I'll probably ever use it, but you never know. You never know. Okay, cool. So, yeah, let's go say hi to the traders, see if we can make some bank, and see if we can get some steel from them. So, since we're kind of here, we'll go ahead and start with Trader uh, Bob, who's just down the mountain this way. Got a lot of stuff in here. He does have some sugar butts. Okay. If we don't happen to make it to the other two before the first one wears out, then we have Something another one. You like. Okay, so let's take this. And uh, take a look at your inventory. So let's sell first. So we currently have 8,700 coin. Okay, so we ended up with uh, 27,810 coin. Let's look at his inventory. Sniper volume one, weapons, yep, we're gonna buy that. Grave digger mod. Grandpa's learning the elixir recipe, we already know that. Motorcycle chassis, okay, that's all he's got. Um, we can make that easily, we don't need to buy that. Um, iron crossbow, two, two, two. Wire post, wrench, advanced bellows, shotgun parts. Yep, that's that's it. Everything else is stuff we sold him. Gratitude. Okay. And safe travels, friend. Let's grab everything out of here that we want to buy. He's got a nice um nice little collection of vending machine stuff. Okay, let's head on over to Trader Hugh, and then we'll pop over to uh, Trader Joel. Okay, we got five minutes left on our sugar butts. Checked him out well, earlier. Look what the cat dragged um, in. So you better let's have sell coin. this to him. And I think that's it for everything we want to sell. Okay, so he has um, the 4x4 accessories schematic. So we now have the ability to make the 4x4. We just need the steel. Uh, Magnum Forcer 2, take 5% less damage from your suit. Um, well, I mean, we, we probably should take that just to do the accomplishment, but let's just see what else he's got here first. Lockpicks. No steel. Damn. Okay, yeah, let's take this, and that's really all we Time want for him. Time to move on. Let's check this really quick. Okay. Oh, I want the grain alcohol, too. Use those for first aid kits. All right, I'll see you over at Trader Joel. We've got four minutes and 33 seconds to get over there. Okay, bud. Come on, give us some steel, man. Or even better, a crucible. Ah. Uh, Military helmet. Okay, nothing in there. Let's look in here. Okay, forged steel. That's not very much, but better than none at all.
Okay, yeah, his inventory isn't all that great either, really. Um, can craft diamond tip blade mods for tools of durability. Yeah, let's grab that. And uh, 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 the military helmet's not really that big of a deal. Okay, well, I guess that's it then. Yeah, these guys didn't really have a whole lot for us. Just look at one last time here. Okay. Thank you, Survivor. Check back soon. I get new merchandise daily. Incidentally, we, we're in tier uh tier four now in terms of our questing. Um I'm gonna actually yeah, that house is right across the street from this guy. It's that house right there. I don't think I want to give that up. It's just too too easy. Um, but see, we got I, I did a couple of bone piles on the way over here. Man, should we just knock that out right now since we're here? Maybe we should. Maybe we should. Um, all right, let's put this stuff in here. It's awesome that we can make the four x four. We just need the doggone steel to do it. Okay, and then I'll get my normal inventory back in here. Okay, fetch and clear. What in the hell? There we go. Nobody's in there, huh? Okay. Um, let's not do any... What in the hell? We won't do any, um... Minor looting. We'll just do major looting here, so... Uh, but, as always, we will definitely uh, want to get, um... Radiators. Did we get him? Yeah, we got him. Yeah, I know. This is minor loot. We're not supposed to be checking it. I don't think we're going to... I don't think we're going to make it to the desert today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Sorry about that, but there's too many things to do, you know? Too many things to do. One thing we could do is... Um, Bob's Boars and Carl's Corn is right across the road. We could just go do that randomly without, um, um, you know, without having a quest for it because there's a lot of, um, rotten meat harvest, uh, over there. Uh, so we could do that. I don't know how long this place is going to take. I, I don't, I don't, I'm not familiar with this place at all. I mean, I, I think I've done it before and I think it killed me once in Alpha 17. Uh, but I just don't remember enough about it uh, to know. Also, just FYI, it's actually the next day for me, too. <laughs> I had to quit uh, right after I started this quest and um, go eat dinner, and then I just didn't make it back on uh, for the rest of the night. So it's actually the next day. So if I, feel, if I seem a little bit out of sorts, well, now you know why. Got to get the head back in the game. I hear a Zeke from somewhere. Some twofers here. Are they both dead? 
They are both dead. That's a beautiful thing. Nobody in these closets. Oh, we got a safe. Nice. Okay. Um, let's check. Oh, I guess I already checked that sink. The light's pointing that way, so this must be just like a little side room. Okay, let's open the sucker up. I've got a full stack of 50 lockpicks, and I can make more. That being said, still would be nice if uh, this would open on the first try. There you go. Okay, we'll take that. Checked all that stuff, right? Oh, no, I didn't get these guys. Okay, let's move. So this goes in between the the roof. Oh, you know, you know what? I have I do remember this house now. Yeah, there's Zeke's that are gonna come at us from down there. I have done this fairly recently. Whoops. There we go. So we came through... Yeah, we came through that way. Okay. Are we supposed to... Okay, hold on a second. I'm a little, a little confused about something. Let's break through here. Um, What's the deal with this room over here? I guess we come back up through here later, right? How would we ever get in this room? Is this like a secret? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Not sure about that. Okay, well, anyway, let's keep going. Oh, where are we supposed to? Oh, we're supposed to go down, right? Okay. Hello, zombies. No zombies? Hello, zombies. Oh, shit. <laughs> she, was, she was silent. Silent but deadly. Oh! Damn it. Darling, you're scaring the crap out of me. She's definitely being silent but deadly. That must have been her sister. Whew, okay. Got to calm down here. Get the heart. Calm down. Oh, shit. Here, take a ratchet. Take another ratchet. <laughs> Where did you come from? Where the hell did you come from? Oh, man. Okay. Never a dull moment, right? Never a dull moment. Let's scrap that. No, don't scrap that. Don't. Screw around with scrap and shit that we already have thousands and thousands of iron back at the base. Doesn't make sense. We got thousands of nitrate. We got thousands of lead. Uh, we don't have thousands of leather, so we'll keep the leather. Um, all right, so yeah, keep going. Okay, anything over here? There we go. Uh, you are more accurate when rapid firing nine millimeter weapons. Okay, that's a good one. That is a good one. Wait, is the game suggesting I'm not accurate? <laughs> not putting up with your crap, zombos. Not putting up with your crap. Let's get this radiator here. I think the fat loots are in the basement of this place. Oh, there's that. Okay, let's not get too terribly trigger happy. Look at that, another safe. 
Maybe I'll, if nothing else, we'll come away with a decent amount of brass from this place. All right, what you got, Mang? Are we, uh... We are wearing nerdies. What? A screamer? Can she get in the house? Where are you at, lady? Oh, and a dog, too. How about that? Okay. You know what? Screw those guys, except for that we want this. Do we just get a, a wandering horde come in? Kind of sounds that way, doesn't it? Shit. Um, I kind of don't feel safe right now. I'm just going to throw that out there. All right, here. We need to get into the safe, even though we don't feel safe. Um, where is... Oh, I was going to say, where the hell is my hammer? I guess this is my hammer. Oh, not good. The screamer just keeps calling more in, too. Okay. We got this. I want that screamer to come in here so we can kill her so she keep, quits calling more Zika Roos. Oh, shit! They're coming on this side, too. Hi, Fido. There's the screamer. Okay. We got her. So this is kind of like an ad lib horde night. Okay. Let's repair this. Oh, shit. Another screamer. No screaming. No more screaming. Okay. Oh, shit. They're through on this side. Arlene? What the hell? Okay, you know what? Um, shit, we can't leave the house. We can't leave the house. Um, oh, get up here. <laughs> oh, dear Jesus. This is not good. There, now we're safe. Whew! Okay, we got this. We got a broken leg or a sprung leg or something, I don't know. Well, I guess we probably better take one of these before we do anything else, right? Okay. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, shit! No, you can't do that one either. More screaming. Oh, what? Where'd that come from? Holy shit. This is not, not, not safe. It's not a safe situation to be in. In case that wasn't obvious. This is not an ad lib horde, this is like a almost a real horde. Okay, no, don't let that break, don't let that break. Gotta kill that damn spider. She's still not dead? I'm not dead yet. Bitch. There, now he's dead. Holy balls! Okay, there's still there's still there's a, like a wolf and a dog. Oh no 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 more screamers! Not allowed. Edgar, you're dead before you hit the floor. 
Holy crap, guys, we're almost out of shotgun shells. <laughs> Good lord. Oh, man, that was a bit intense. I just started... I was getting a little worried there. Uh, sprained leg. Okay, well, we can't... I don't think we can do anything about that other than just wait for it to wear off. Whew! Okay. I think it's... I think it's relatively safe. Safe is a relative term. Look at the floor. <laughs> oh, man. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Okay. Hey, look. Gut piles. Or rotten meat, rather. Oh, did we leave that other dog? I think we did it. My leg hurts. Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was a little bit worried there for, for just a bit, you guys. Just a little bit. Just a little bit worried. Oh. I, I left the house because I, you know, I felt like I was getting cornered, you know, which I was. Um, because they were coming at me from two sides, and I just I I didn't want my I didn't want to be in that situation. But uh, as it turned out, it probably was a good move because we were able to get back up the trellis and then into that room where we could, you know, have our back up against the wall. And, uh, okay, a little 4X scope mod. Okay, I think we need to go downstairs now. Let's get whatever we have in here. Why am I checking the stove? Knock it off. Check the sink, though. We might get acid from the sink. The stove's not going to give us anything but cooking pots. We don't need cooking pots. We'll eat that. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Uh, we're going to try and save those so we can sell them. Get rid of that. Do, 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 do. Get rid of that. I got tons of them. Okay. I think that's it for the kitchen. Whew. Yeah, we have like 20 shotgun shells left. Yeah. There's a zombie right around the corner. Right there. Come on up the stairs, boys and girls. This is not... Wait, coming up the stairs. Where are you? Sounds like someone's behind me. That's always unnerving in this game. She's underneath the stairs. Okay, we got one more left. There you are. Uh, where? You, what? Did it? No, there's still another one. I can't believe we've shot up almost all of our shotgun shells. Okay, where's the other zombo? Well, wait a minute. What? Activate rally point. 
Oh no! Oh no! You know what, you guys? When I logged out, it reset. It reset the quest, didn't it? Is the thingamadoodle still out there? Oh shit! I completely forgot that that's what it does. I guess on the bright side, it'll allow us to double loot it. Yep, it's right there. <laughs> we got a wolf out here somewhere. We got to be careful. Oh, gosh. All right, let's, uh, let's loot this. Yeah, that's what happened. When I logged out, um, it reset the, the damn quest, and it just never even occurred to me that it would do that. Oh, man. We gotta go through this house again. <laughs> okay, well, let's get the fat loots. Um, okay. Anything in here? Oh, nice. Yeah, we'll take some landmines. Are we wearing luckies? Yes, yeah, it's, it's almost too bad we didn't have our nerdies on for that. We would have gotten more XP, but uh, that'll sell for a little bit of bank. Oh, there we go. Yeah! <laughs> the game is rewarding us, guys, for beating the shit out of us. It's going, all right, old guy, I'm, I feel sorry for you. What, for what I just did to you, here's a cauldron. <laughs> oh, man, it's a good day. It is a good day, ladies and gentlemen. It is a freaking good day. Whoa! He's, uh, must be up there. Okay, that made it all worthwhile. That made it all worthwhile. Let's just drink this. I want to save those. I'm trying to not eat sham anymore because sooner or later we're going to come across the, the sham chowder recipe, which is probably the best food in the game. Well, I don't know if it's the best food, but it's a very good food. Let's scrap that and ninja loot that. Where the hell's that dog at? Okay, well, he's still upstairs. All right, let's see what's in the fat loots. That's a nice, uh, pretty decent find there. All right, I'm going to have to come back for this stuff because uh, I don't want to give any of this up. I mean, we could potentially give those up, but it's not going to be enough to get all of that, so. All right, we found our cauldron. Oh, man, I am stoked, you guys. <laughs> it's awesome. We earned it, too, man. We freaking earned it from this place. That wolf is just got me a little bit on edge. Well, and we're also out of time, too. Anything behind here? So... Um, I think I'm going to let you go. There, let's just eat that too. Um, I think I'm going to let you go and then I guess we'll start up the next episode and we'll just do this place again. I mean, <laughs> it was insane. Of course, it was the, it was the, you know, the screamers that made it insane. Otherwise it wouldn't have been that big of a deal, really. So, yeah, we found the cauldron. That's the best thing. That's the best thing. Where's that wolf at? You know we have a point, too. And we're going to put that right on in the machine gunner. Yeah, that sucks, man. Okay, well, let's uh, let's find the wolf before I let you go, because you guys are probably wanting to know where he is too. Was right around over here. Oh, there he is. All right, he's just a normal wolf, not a dire. All right, you guys. Well, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna let you go here and. I might even just start up the, the next episode and we'll just pick up right <laughs> right from this same spot. See, we got two days for Horde Night, so that still gives us enough time to go home, throw the cauldron in the forge, and just start making steel. Uh, which also means uh, we have a 4x4 four four, uh, coming up in our future, too. So, yep, that's it. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and pray for me because I damn near died, had a heart attack. <laughs> Bye.